Shares of Electronic Arts EA are higher this morning. What's interesting, the company's forecast for revenue and earnings in this current quarter were below what analysts had been predicting. The company's um, Apex Legends franchise has been doing well, but Battlefield not, uh, was a big flop. So uh, I, I have to admit, Saz, I'm a little surprised to see the stock recover here. Surprised, but maybe not so surprised. Just given the, the action, this deal activity we've seen in the gaming space, uh, of course, Microsoft coming out here for Activision Blizzard. Uh, there's a lot of other deals. You have Take-Two for Zynga. A lot of things going on in the space, perhaps to keep a, a bid under shares of Electronic Arts after a disappointing quarter. Uh, just look, uh, their, their bookings uh, grew 7% year over year. The street was looking for about 10%. Company uh, also guided down for the fourth quarter here. Battlefield 2042, a game I've never played before, but if, of course the street is tracking it. Uh, that is looks to be uh, some delays there. Disappointing performance with that as well. But the big thing, quite, the big question here, Julie, is where is the buyout for Electronic Arts? The stock is is up 25%. Over the past two years, the S&P 500 up about 45%, the NASDAQ up over 50%. If you're the team at Electronic Arts, what are you doing here? Uh, and secondarily, how is that stock underperforming considering the installed user base of these consoles? Uh, they have a hit on their hands, of course, a long-time hit in Madden football. Uh, all this deal activity, at what point does Electronic Arts uh, step up here and get some form of deal done? I don't have the answer to that, Saz. Um, Neither do I. More thing. And I'm not sure <laughs> one, they do either, Julie. One more thing I just wanted to mention is that uh, Sony is, again, cutting its forecast for how many PlayStations, PlayStation 5 specifically, it can ship because it's not getting enough chips to power those consoles. Um, the company said that um, it shipped 3.3 million units, um, but uh, the total is 17.3 million. Uh, but that's below where the PS4 was at this point, uh, same point in the cycle. So we're going to keep watching that as well.